video, we are going to explore how to transform traces on eScope so they can be viewed on the screen better. There are a few tricks and mishaps that could be avoided, so we are going to look out for those. Here I'm in eScope Elite 8, uh, version 1.1.0, released in July 2021. And I'm going to go to Measure and Deep Record tab and load uh, one of the test data sets included with the program. So I'm going to load the data and you see here that we have a few traces that overlap on top of each other. So we want to separate those traces a little bit. So one of the features that's included in recent uh, program revisions uh, are these uh, buttons and uh, uh, arrows. So if we go and let's say for channel two, press on the up button, then we can see that the trace is going to go up and it will separate from others. Uh, we don't know exactly the offset. Uh, unfortunately, that is not displayed in the program, but hopefully that doesn't matter that much for you. If necessary, you can bring the a trace back to its original position by using this lamp that is going to light up once you use the up and down arrows. And I sometimes have some issues with this. Uh, sometimes I have to press those buttons several times until they work. Uh, maybe there are some bugs to work out, but here we go, we will try. And here uh, it did uh, uh, go back down. Now, uh, we also uh, have the option to spread the traces automatically. Uh, this is the all button. If you press the all button, the traces will get spread out automatically. If you uh, press the all button again, they will go into the original positions. Somehow, if you try to do that and then uh, bring some of the traces back manually using those lamps. Uh, then when you try to press the all button again, the results can be strange like this. They suddenly do not scale correctly. This, they're too small. Uh, if you press all button several times, uh, you are going to get the right uh, result again. So there are some bugs going around uh, but I guess there are some workarounds. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, move them back into the original position and explore another uh, dialog, the process data dialog. And so what we have uh, here, uh, compared to uh, the previous versions of the program, we cannot just add offsets to the traces, but also we can multiply the traces by um, some arbitrary number. However, this is very dangerous option because by default, you have all the channels selected and uh, the default values that are used are zeros. So if you just right now press multiply by the numbers, you are going to get exactly zero on all traces and this is permanent. There is no undo button and uh, you pretty much killed your capture at this point. So if you want to use this uh, dialogue, uh, let me reload the file back because it's gone right now. So if you want to use the dialogue, I can definitely recommend to press the all off button first so that you deselect the channels you want to transform and only select then the channel you are targeting, let's say channel two. And only then you can say, okay, I have channel two. I want to scale it uh, by two times. So that is why it's bigger. I press multiply by this number and my channel, red channel, channel two, is now uh, twice bigger. Uh, 
it is also the transformation that you cannot uh, undo. So even if I try to press that button for channel two, nothing happens. So you have to remember that you did that transformation. Uh, similarly, uh, you can just offset your traces just as before. Let's say uh, we can uh, transform it by minus 10 volts. And it moved all the way down. We can do zoom out to full now and see it separate uh, from all the other traces below. Uh, this transformation can be reversed by pressing this button and now it's back where it was but if you apply the offset twice so let's say I apply it once and then I apply it another time so that it's now way down there if I try to undo it will undo only to the previous step not to the original one where it was uh, starting from zero but the one it was before so it's a little bit strange it's unlike uh, let's say picoscope where the data is collected from the scope and it becomes uh, the golden standard that's not changed at any point you can apply uh, let's say filtering or uh, resolution enhancement or any math channels but the original data is still there you can always undo all the changes and get back to it that's not what uh, happens in this scope it seems to be doing live surgery on the traces uh, and you just have to live with that uh, and I guess uh, that is it for this video I hope you find it useful and maybe there are some other tricks you uh, know uh, that would be really good to uh, uh, learn about those. Thank you.